Today I thought we'd do vitamin C. So I've got lots of vitamin C's here. They're fabulous products. Um, I've used vitamin C as a nice ingredient probably longer than any other active ingredient we talk about. And you know, when I come back from the summer, vitamin C is brilliant just to reduce pigmentation. It really helps even out skin tone. But what's in it? How does it work? Those kind of, you know, I always talk about ones I like and this one I like and the texture and stuff, but I feel that I need to get some extra advice. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go and talk to somebody who knows a lot more than me about vitamin C, because I know, I know what it does, I know how good it feels on my skin, but I don't know chemically how it works. Follow me. This is where the magic happens. Do you have a second? Yeah. I just want to talk. You actually know much more than me about what I want to talk about today. Can you have five minutes? Okay. 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 All right. I'll call you back. All right. Okay. Bye bye. We're sitting downstairs doing this film, thinking the humble orange. What does the humble orange have to do with vitamin C? Because it's in every ad. I know that there's L absorbic acid. Yes. How does this? become l acid. Okay, so orange yeah. is really rich in vitamin C, yeah. which is ascorbic acid. Yeah. However, it's a super unstable molecule. In light yeah. and in air, it just destabilizes, so it breaks down. It's an orange. Yes. How do I get l acid from it? Do they by take eating the it. of it? No, by eating it. So no, they actually just replicate that molecule synthetically. Yeah. Oh, so it's not anything It is not to anything to do with that. You can take, obviously, take vitamin C into your diet, which so I by do. eating yeah. oranges. Yeah. However, we know the benefits of vitamin C on the skin. You cannot eat enough vitamin C to, to deliver the skin. skin. I used to always say, it's like you're trying to feed 100 people with a crisp bag, okay. one bag of crisps, okay. the last person is your skin. Very it's not analogy. gonna get yeah. anything. So you need to apply it topically to get the benefits. Okay. L-ascorbic acid, pure form, yeah? All right. Completely instable, so super hard to formulate with, yeah? Okay. So this is why you have powders, which is the pure form right, of it. So then I got, I got a powder. I got so a, okay, that's this. a powder. Right, yeah. So, so that sold as vitamin C. The yeah, is one hundred percent of a powder. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. That you then have to mix yourself. This really works. It lowers the pH of your skin. Yeah. So this is why it's super potent. Yeah. But it's also can be quite irritating. Lots of people try vitamin C. Yes. And they maybe try the wrong thing. Yeah. And then they think I won't try vitamin C the category. There are hundreds thousands of vitamin C's. How do I know which is the right one? You know when you go shopping for a pair of jeans, yeah. one size doesn't fit all, one style doesn't fit all, yeah. you're gonna have to shop around, yeah, and find the right one for you, yeah? Okay. Lots of different forms of vitamin C. Right. So we have water-based ones, yeah. which are the ones like L-ascorbic acid. Yeah. L-ascorbic acid itself is actually quite a cheap ingredient, yeah? Okay. So this would be, as a single ingredient, yeah. 18 pounds a kilo. Because I know some things in our formulations which are like, hundred thousand pounds a kilo. Hundred eighty nine thousand pounds a kilo. Yeah. kilo we have an ingredient but pill. like something yeah. like ethylated ascorbic acid, I would say is about seven hundred pounds a kilo. Oh my so god! So that, quite a difference. Yeah. You get what you pay for. Okay. okay so yeah. you need to look at the back of your inky. Can we just remind ourselves the science that if something is above one percent, goes it to the has top. to go. Yeah. So it goes from the highest ingredient level yeah. to the lowest ingredient yeah. level. But after under one percent, you can put them in any order. So if you picked this up, you yeah. will look at the back of the ingredients. Yeah. So we've got. Water, it's got the two yeah. glycols and the number three ascorbic acid. Like so looking on your list, getting to know things. Where's one that maybe is low? Just guessing on this one, okay. but actually it's below the perfume. Well, yeah. what we can do is we can smell it. Smell that, that's, <laughs> whew, that's in a high level. But I would say that's like 0.6% of a fra fragrance and the ascorbic acid is less than that. Less than because that. Because it came after the fragrance yeah. on the inky list. What? That's really, that's really, okay. that's really, okay. that's really low. Yeah. Anything that has a tetra in the name. Yeah, what's tetra? Okay, so tetra. tetra is linked to, they're oil soluble ones. Yeah. Okay. So oil soluble, really good for more drier skin mm -hmm. types. Yeah. Mm -hmm. However, if you're paying a lot more money, you might get a more sophisticated formula. This is a gorgeous texture. It's like, I think skin goes, this is like 40, It's 130 pounds. I, 130 I know pounds. because I, this is the one I've used yeah. the most over the years. And it's sort of, you feel it's oily. But it's a dry oil, yeah. really, really nice. So let's see, the Medicaid I think is oil. oil. Based. Yeah. yeah, try this one. Yeah. Okay. 
this one I think is just a little bit heavier. So I think yeah. you have to try the texture, yeah? yeah? So you could say the different forms of vitamin C. Yeah, I have dry skin, so mm -hmm. I should go for an oil-based vitamin C. Yeah. The ones that begin with the tetra. Yeah. Or you can have, if you've got um, oily combination skin, if you have a nicely formulated tetra, yeah. it could be good. So mm -hmm. it's also trying the textures, get yeah. some advice or watch your videos because I think you try to yeah. educate people yeah. and give them a sense of the texture. I see, but it's like coming up to you and getting that knowledge i mean you've never had this knowledge before have you because this is like this is the detail can i come and bug you more because i was going to do retinols yeah. as well and i want to do niacinamides and i want to do um hyaluronic acid yep. okay i'm going to okay. kind of bother you another day yep. i got to now go back down um but thanks so much for your time sorry to bother the office glad i bugged her i think i learned a lot more about vitamin c than i knew before and hey ho let's see what we do next time we come and bother again Till next time bye